Hello and welcome to a video on the Lunar Client Utilities plugin that I have recently published to Spigot and I have wrote. So this is just going to be going over the basic commands of the plugin, kind of what it does, me explaining a couple things to you, um, me going over the config and stuff like that. So let's get started. Um, so first off, um, once you have it installed on your server, um, you're not going to really notice anything. Um, as everything is command based in the plugin. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with the welcomer. So let's say that you have people on your server using Lunar Client. And I should note to use all of these features, you must be running on Lunar Client. Um, you can go ahead and type slash welcome. And you can see that Lunar Client utils, no new players have joined Ragnarok. So when a new player joins, um, they are added to a system in the plugin and when the first person to type slash welcome gets a reward and it automatically sends them a custom message sends the message as the player um, and you can configure that inside of the config and i'll kind of go over that a little later so next thing we have is we have slash lunar so as you can see this comes up and says please use lunar online or lunar staff so it, the reason it shows me both is because I obviously I am opt and I have the permissions for the staff modules. So let's go ahead and check Lunar Online. So what is Lunar Online does is it will print you a list of all of the players on your server that are currently using Lunar Client, which is amazing. Um, next we have Lunar Staff. So if you go ahead and hit right shift while you're inside of Lunar Client and you go to Mod, you'll notice you have Mods, Settings, and Waypoints. Well, if we do Lunar Staff, you can see that it says Lunar Client Util Staff Modules Enabled. So we'll go ahead and click right shift. We'll see that we now have a Staff module section, which is built into the client. Now, the only one that shows up is X-Ray. Um, this, sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. Um, the Lunar Client developers um, have basically said that these modules are no longer uh, being kept up and they are depracted. So um, I put this in here just in case one day, day, one day, one day they decide to start letting people use them again, they will be there. So you can go ahead and enable it and then you can set a keybind and turn x ray on and off. But as you can see, it does not work. Um, if you run the command again, you can see it says it's enabled. That is because I, you cannot disable the staff modules without logging out and logging back into your server. Uh, the reason this is is because of the way Lunar Client handles the modules. So once you enable a module, the hidden modules, you cannot disable them without logging out and logging back in. So as you've noticed, I've been jumping around here quite a bit, and I've been doing this um, kind of to show you what my normal jump speed is. And that is because I have written inside of this plugin a custom bunny hop or b hop. So some of you may be familiar with like modified clients that allow you to like b hop and long jump and do stuff like that. So I have actually coded a server side bunny hop. So if we go ahead and we do b hop, see lunar client utils b hop is enabled. So now if we go ahead and jump around, you can see that we're moving a lot faster, and we are bunny hopping. And you can go side to side, you can go kind of backwards, and it's really fun. And if you stop jumping, it gives you a little bit of a speed boost, which is kind of fun. And you can kind of time it, and it's really, this is just there kind of to play around with. Um, this is permission-based, um, so you don't have to give this out to all of your players. Um, obviously, you don't want your players running around bunny hopping, attacking each other. Um, so we can actually go ahead and run that command again. And you'll see that we are now disabled. So, you notice that we are still running. That is because we are actually modifying the player's movement speed. So, the reason this is, is because inside of the Spigot API, um, there's no way to set a velocity. or there, The only way you can set velocity is with vectors. Um, anybody that knows anything about coding, that's kind of how this works. Um, don't worry, once a player logs out, it'll automatically reset their walk speed. Um, and if you go ahead and stop moving and then run the command again, you can see it's disabled and we can no longer bunny hop. 
it's an error inside of Spigot. I cannot fix this until they modify their vectors and let you change the values um, based on potion effects or anything like that. Um, next thing we have is the configuration file. Um, but before we get into that, I would like to show you something really cool. So this is something that actually was suggested to me as I was writing this plugin by a player on my server. And he said that he wanted a way to be able to break glass faster. Many of you know there's no like plugins or not really anything inside of Minecraft that allows you to like break glass faster with any tool. So what I've done is if your players are running Lunar Client, they can place and break glass instantly without having to have soap touch. And you can see it drops the glass. And you can do this as much as you want. Now the blocks that are invisible, that is because of my shader pack. That is not the client. And that is not the plugin. Uh, again, this is permission based. So if you don't want people breaking glass like this, um, you can actually just not give them the permission node. Um, this also works if you have things such as tools in your inventory. Um, we'll grab a pickaxe. Uh, we'll grab a hoe. Uh, a shovel, and we'll grab a sword here. So just to show, um, it does work with all tools. So if we go ahead and break some glass, you'll see that it drops no matter what tool we use. Uh, apparently that is bound to something, wooden shovels are. And you can see that I can still break it by hand. So Let's go ahead and jump into the configuration section. Right, so once you install the plugin and you run it, you're going to see a new folder that's been made called Lunar Client Utils. And inside of that, you're going to see a config.yml. And that's what this is. So what this allows you to do, this allows you to change some certain aspects about the plugin. So um, you'll notice there's a couple things um, wrote up here. So we'll go top to bottom. So this just tells you that the config is from Lunar Client Utils. Um, and then we have a section here that says, do not change any of the above. So what that means is you cannot change any of the admin command lines, the about lines, or the config version lines. Otherwise, it'll break the plugin. If you break the plugin, you need to delete the config.yml and restart your server. So the next thing we have is permissions. So you can see that the BHOP permission, and this is what it is. You can see the glass break permission and what it is, and the staff module permission. The welcomer does not have a permission um, as it's for all players. If you would like a permission for that, just let me know and I can do that. So the next thing we have is the plugin prefix. So this is what shows before all chat messages. And you can see Lunar Client Utils. So you can change this to be whatever you want. Next thing is we have no permission. So what this is, if a player does not have a required permission node, such as Lunar Utils.staff, and they run the Lunar Staff command, this will be shown to the player. Next we have the slash welcome. So what this does is this is the chat message for when a player does slash welcome, what it forces the player to say. So for example, I have welcome to Ragnarok because that is name, the name of my network and what I coded this plugin for. Next we have, if no new players have joined and someone uses welcome, this is sent to the player. That's pretty self-explanatory. So if nobody's new has joined and somebody does slash welcome, this message will be sent. Next we have, when somebody does slash welcome, if you want to give them a, war, a reward. Um, note, this does support placeholder APIs, placeholders for things such as vault, um, crates, faction, anything inside of placeholder API, you can use inside of this line. For example, right here I have a crate plugin giving people a normal crate key. Next we have lunar online command, and this is just the format to print whatever you want when somebody runs Lunar Online. For example, you can have it say Lunar Players and then all of the people. You can have it say, check out our awesome uh, Lunar Client users, all of their names. And again, you can use placeholder APIs. So you can have it say place, players' names, 
their balances, their island levels for Skyblock, literally whatever you want. The next we have is the bhop commands. So this is, the first one is bhop enabled. So whenever somebody does slash bhop, what do you want it to say whenever it turns on? And then we have bhop disabled. What do you want it to say whenever they disable the bhop? And then this is just a little note for the staff modules. Again, I am not responsible for the staff modules. They may or may not work. Um, you can change what you want it to say when the modules are enabled. Um, but again, you cannot disable them without logging out of the server and logging back in. If you have any further questions, let me know. Um, check us out on Spigot um, if you want to download it. And I will see you guys in the next video.